good team exclusive and welcome to the first episode of a brand new series on the channel called what if now this has nothing to do with the the foot premier what if but basically this is going to be we're going to be uh saying what if for pretty much everything in football today is as the title probably says is real madrid versus chelsea but it's all icons it's all icons so it's going to be it, basically the idea today in this episode was to um not not necessarily predict but as obviously the Champions League game with Real Madrid and Chelsea is going off tomorrow, I thought it'd be quite fun to maybe simulate that in the game, but basically have all the Real Madrid and Chelsea icons back in the team and just kind of see what happens, really. Basically, that's the idea. But the whole series itself is going to be just, I don't know, obviously it's going to include like career mode and that kind of stuff. Um, so what if to pretty much everything? So like, what if Zlatan was still playing at PSG? What if Messi transferred to Man City, you know, or... What if um, Arsenal versus Spurs, but everybody's one rated, for, for example. So, you know, that kind of stuff. So if you've got any ideas of what kind of stuff you'd like to see in the series, let me know, let me know in the comment section below. It can pre pretty much be pretty much anything and it can just have a lot of fun. Obviously, there's not going to be a whole lot of realism based in this, as you can probably tell. It's all just for fun. It's all just for fun. So let's have a quick look at... Um, the teams that I've created, so Real Madrid, as you can see behind me, has a sensational team. I'll actually keep it on that one because it's a little bit, a little bit bigger. But uh, you've got, as you can see on the left, Roberto Carlos. You've got Ramos, Courtois, you've got Pepe, Carvajal, Cruz, Modric, Zidane, Ronaldo, Ronaldo and Bale. What a team that is as well. What a team that is. And of course, they are now facing the English team known as Chelsea. So they are facing the English team known as Chelsea. And as you can see, this is the uh, this is the team that I've created. You've got Checking Goal, you've got David Luiz, you've got Desai, Ashley Cole, Aspilicueta, Kante, Lampard, Essien, Hazard, Drogba, and Fernando Torres. So what I would say is I think Chelsea's got the most icons uh, in the game and obviously for ones that I could actually put in the team. But I wouldn't necessarily say they've got a better team um it's going to be an interesting one it's going to be an interesting one to see who comes out on top so we might as well jump straight into this i do want to mention that i did spend um basically all last night and basically all of today trying to boost everyone's stats up to the prime icon stats in their best version so like 99 ronaldo cristiano obviously and uh, like a 94 bale and then i went and reset everything um so i do want to kill myself but basically um i've just decided to go with just the icons um maybe for the second leg we might re revisit this and uh, boost everyone up to their best possible version then and then see what happens that could also be quite uh, quite interesting but of course they are in the semi-finals i do believe so stuck on legendary not that i think it really matters um we're going to go with obviously Real madrid and then we can select the second one obviously i'm not going to be taking any physical part in this i'm just going to be a neutral bystander um just to see what happens just to see what happens i i i would say if i'm given like a an opinion of, of who's gonna win i'll watch this first though bang 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 i mean what a team that would like cruz zidane and modric uh like what a, what a midfield that would be as well i right, watch this goal what a goal that is. What a goal by Zidane. Anyway, yeah, I would say <laughs> I would say that uh, Real Madrid probably has the best team. Probably has the best team. Oh, here we go. Just like the real game, isn't it? I wonder if I'll get uh, copyright striked. Anyway, um, yeah, we don't actually need to really see this. We can kind of just get straight into this. So, I mean, look at that. What a team Chelsea had back in the day. Drogba, Fernando Torres, even Hazard, Lampard, Essien, Kante, Ashley Cole, obviously, for a, a little bit as well. Uh, David Luiz, who's a big part of their defence. Desai, don't know how many games he played. I don't think it was a terrible amount, but, um, you know, he did play for them. So I think it's I think it's fair. And obviously, Czech uh, looking very at home in the Chelsea kit, unfortunately. And then obviously Zidane, Bale, Ronaldo. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine the two Ronaldos playing together? That would be scenes. Absolute scenes. And I've got to say... He, Ronaldo, the Cristiano, obviously looks a lot better in a Real Madrid kit. It just looks, it just looks uh, more natural. 
And obviously, you can see on the bench, you've got uh, the likes of Puskas, Hierro, uh, Varane, and that kind of stuff. So if the AI do make do decide to make subs, uh, it's going to be fun. But also, I'm interested to see how this uh, very aggressive man at the centre-back does against um, the likes of Drogba and, and Torres and stuff. But... Um, yeah, we actually don't need to see this. We can just kind of skip ahead. So, yeah, like I said, I'm not playing any physical part. It's just going to be basically watching the game, seeing how how things go, and uh, seeing seeing what team comes out on top. I'm actually really excited about this because I don't know. I mean, it's all the AI. Essien makes a good tackle. Fernando Torres to Didier Drogba. Torres doing bits to Drogba. Who gets the first goal? Didier Drogba. Why am I celebrating for Chelsea? I have no idea, but let's go. Didier Drogba makes the first impact. You do love to see it. You do love to see it. Obviously, both them, both uh, AIs are on legendary. So, you know, I thought I, I put the competitor mode on because it could bring out some skills, that kind of stuff. You know, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, that kind of stuff. But uh, what a goal by Drogba. What a goal by Drogba. So, <laughs> that's weird. I forgot about that. Lampard is the manager and Lampard is playing. Good job, good job. AL, you know, it, it, what's the saying? Like, um, uh, if you can't beat them, join them. Or, or is it, you know, the, the famous quote from Thanos is, uh, fine, I'll do it myself. Zidane to Ronaldo. Back to Zidane against David Luiz. He does a drag back. Does another drag back cancel. And he gets tackled by Ashley Cole. Zidane just doing too much in the box. What an absolute melt. Get too boring. But if this is, you know, if this is really boring and not, hopefully this video itself is uh, somewhat entertaining and not, uh, not incredibly boring. But, you know, let me know what you think in the comment section below. They get a goal back. Real Madrid. Modric with a great run. And I don't know who the pass was from. Was that from Ronaldo? They get one back against Chelsea. Let's go. Real Madrid back in the game. You do love to see it what a run i didn't actually think he was going to get the get to the ball but uh obviously chelsea's back line just not quite quick enough with david louise and uh and uh desai who was that that was essien wasn't it marking that was essien he just didn't he just didn't make the tackle sad sad and then uh Modric just puts it in what a great finish as well even though i would like to say real madrid probably has the betting at better attacking options it's difficult to say isn't it with drogba and stuff very good finishes, but I mean, look at this. Just classic Chelsea going 12 at the back. Just what can you do, man? What? How are you going to break this down? Ronaldo on the edge of the box. Just take a finesse. Oh, what a ball by Zidane. Oh, my God. What a run by the main man, Fat Ronaldo. What a ball by Zidane, though. That was nuts. That was a nutty pass. I, I'm actually blown away by that. Crowd goes wild. Check looks absolutely distraught as per. Look at that. Just pass off to Zan. Makes the run. David Luiz ain't got no clue what's going on. As we all know. David Luiz is completely useless. Gives it off to Hazard. Pass it across to Drogba. Oh no. Wait. wait. He spilled it. Courtois. Oh my god. Courtois absolutely fluffed it with the punch. And punched it straight to Kante. It was literally on the penalty spot. And I don't know quite what he thought he was going to do but ultimately he he balls it up back to r9 who's making the run he makes the run past david louise take the shot man what are you doing appropriate from back in his prime i mean not really actually fair can't pass it drogba's through is he still on side can he finish it he does drogba he finishes it puts it 2-2 chelsea with the quick counter attack real madrid what are they doing they're crumbling real madrid are actually crumbling you 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 hate or love to see it. One of the other. Look at this. Just who is that? Pepe? It was Pepe. He just sucks, doesn't he? Just simple as Pepe just sucks nowadays. Just couldn't I'm surprised he didn't just um kind of just two foot lunge straight to the back of Drogba. Got Fernando Torres running through the middle. He gets there. Pass off to Drogba. What's he gonna do with it now? Havertz. Had a good chance to shoot off the post that is one hell of a save or or save by the post i actually don't know which one it was and there we go full time full time i don't know what happens after this so we'll have to see but uh two two so far two two real madrid with two very good goals and obviously chelsea with also two very good goals as well things you do love to see uh pepe obviously just telling drogba how much he's uh 
at how much he stinks, how much he hates him, and how much he is going to stamp on his face in the next half. So things you hate to see, things you hate to see. So yeah, so it's. I think we're going to have the second leg now. Actually, two two. Wow. What if, I, I actually didn't think it was going to be this even. I actually didn't think it was going to be this even. Obviously, Real Madrid. I think on the back foot. Actually, I think Chelsea have been the better team. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But two shots, two goals, um, two on target for Real Madrid, whereas Chelsea had six and six with two goals. So the more chances, but also couldn't put them away. Here we go. So second leg is underway. Let's uh, skip through this. Yeah, yeah, we've we've seen this before. We don't need to do that. Okay, right. Second leg, two two so far. I wonder if this actually makes a difference to how uh, the teams are going to play. If um, the scoreline has any kind of bearing. That's an interesting factor. And this is the kind of the point of the series because it's it's you ask so many questions about FIFA. It's like, what if this was the case or what if this was the case or, you know, what if this does this change anything? So that's kind of the whole point of the series. It's kind of experimental, experimental FIFA time. Um, but Chelsea seem to be playing well, you know, having the, the same starting 11 they had last time, obviously no changes, but they seem to be more attacking so far. Modric to Zidane. Back to Ronaldo. Zidane wastes it a bit too quick, to be fair. But he, whoever that was in the in the middle fluffed it. Gives it to R9, who passed it across to Zidane, and he fucked it. I don't believe it. It might go down to the wire, to be fair. It's going to be interesting to see if it actually does go down to the wire. There's a through ball to R9. He passed it again. I don't believe it. He's done that twice. Why has he not learned his lesson? So I really can't say which way it's going to go, to be fair. I think it's going to go either down to penalties or somebody's going to grab one goal and that's just going to be the end of the end of proceedings. So who knows? I mean, in fairness, there's not really anything actually going on. Um, it's really been like this for the past good portion of the game. Torres making a run through, straight through the back line of Real Madrid and um, Fernando Torres gets... The goal, that could be big. That could be big. There was a gap. Pepe, maybe not quite good enough. If that was Varane, you know, if that was Varane, he may have uh, he may have been blocking the gap. But Pepe just uh, double stacking with Ramos and just lets Torres go through and slams it home. Finally, a good pass by Torres. Look at Pepe. He just looks so angry. Rightly so. Modric still got it to Dan. They're probing. Just got that space by Ronaldo. R9, take the shot, man. He took the shot finally, and it just was way too late. Such a, he has had three opportunities to close this game, and he's failed every single time. Oh, it's fallen to Ronaldo. He's got it on David Luiz. He's still got it. He's lost out, man. Are they going to get a second? Are Chelsea going to get a second? Hazard. He had a choice to shoot. Drogba, game, set. And match 4-2 to Chelsea on aggregate. This is embarrassing for Real Madrid. Embarrassing. Um, I mean, that is literally Drogba doing Drogba things. Just absolute banger by Drogba. He hit that as hard as he possibly could. Bit fortunate to keep the ball, but there we go. That's where it falls and just there's no chance from that point on. Drogba's never going to miss. Probably could have saved it as well. Probably could have saved it, but there we are. Didier Drogba, Lampard, obviously very happy happy for Lampard's team. Yo, hold on. They could get a third. Chelsea, go and pass it off to Torres. Pass it again. Unreal. Balak with a third. Balak with a third. They're just, they're just punishing Real Madrid. They've gone out all out attacking and it's left them exposed. And uh, a good bit of play, to be fair. Torres holding it up and then just pass it back off to Balak, who, as we know, is a beast. And uh, just puts it past Cortor again. Sad. Puts them completely out of reach now, I think. That that has to be game, set, and match. God damn. Obviously, this is only two games. You could say, oh, you know, you know, the, the next three games, they would win it. But CR7 gets it. Hold on. Ooh, good save by Czech. Good save by Czech, and it slips out for a corner. CR7 gets the ball, just saves it with his hand. My God, I mean, how else are you going to save it? There we go. So, a game, set, and match. Chelsea have come out on top. I 
I didn't see this coming. I actually didn't see this coming. I mean, obviously, this has no bearing to the actual real-life game at all because this is just Chelsea versus Real Madrid, but they're all icons, um, pretty much. Uh, all past and present teams anyway, and it's uh, it was an interesting game. It was an interesting couple of games, actually. The first game was was very good. Very, very good. The first leg was very, very good. 2-2, both ends, scoring absolute bangers of goals, and then Real Madrid crumbling in the second half. This is... um. Not something I saw coming. Three goals for Chelsea. Drogba, Balak, and was it Torres, I think, scored? But there we are. That was really good fun. I actually really enjoyed that. Really, really enjoyed it. If it does end 5 2 in aggregate for Chelsea, then uh, I, I, like I say, I deserve a, an MBE. Um, yeah. But with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Like I said, if you did, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you see more of this content and you haven't already, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. And become part of the exclusive family but with that said i do hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and as always we'll see you next time